Good day, YouTube. This is just a bit of a hardware resource usage comparison between Linux Mint 20 on the left and Manjaro latest release on the right, uh, which is a bit of a misnomer as it is actually a roll-in release. So I won't get too much into that one there. But uh, starting off, uh, another reason for this video is because Linux Mint 20 has just dropped recently, so why not give it a go? So these are just both booted up from scratch. They have the same uh, RAM allocation, for instance, there, although I do, I do have an extra CPU on the right-hand side for Manjaro at the moment. I don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, let's have a bit of a look here. So they are mostly uh, just idling out for CPU, as you can expect for any operating system, booted from scratch just a few moments there ago. And uh, on the right, we'll start off with there's, uh, well, actually, even before I go there, I'll let you know this is the, uh, what is considered to be the core or the default desktop environment for Manjaro, which is the XFCE edition here. So it may be a little bit lighter, and it does seem to be because it's running at about 500 megabytes of RAM out of the box on boot up, which is pretty, which is pretty good. It's pretty achievable there for any uh, older machine, for instance. Uh, whereas we have uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon default desktop edition as well. So Cinnamon, the Cinnamon desktop environment on the left here, which means uh, it is actually running at a bit of a fairly good stable 650 megabytes of RAM straight out of the box. So it is a little bit more. Uh, they can both perhaps be used on slightly older hardware, but uh, the, the cake goes to this one here for Manjaro on the XFCE edition, as it is, as it is noticeably 20% or so more uh, yeah, lighter in terms of RAM usage there. So a bit of a fun quick video, guys. Just wanted to throw this one up. Like I say, Linux Mint 20 came out, but that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, thanks again, and I hope to see you guys there in the next one.